This is the new Nothing Watch Pro. I mean, technically, it's the new range called CMF, but nothing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and call this the Nothing Watch because everything in this watch is nothing. Get it? See, so the new color material in Finish AKA CMF by Nothing is supposed to bring the Nothing design and premium experience to more affordable prices with the Garn charger, the earbuds, and this smartwatch. And this is affordable. This started 4,500 rupees, but this looks nothing like nothing. I mean, so far we've come to expect Nothing devices to have the whole transparent design, but this looks like just another smartwatch under 5K. Don't get me wrong, for an affordable smartwatch, this looks fine with the whole square design, the metal casing, and the build quality is also pretty solid. But yeah, just imagine a transparent design in a budget smartwatch. For us guys, I'm telling you, that's a hit. Anyway, the metal casing here is kind of thick, but I like that it has unified bezels, it has the mic here, the speaker here, and it has sensors on the back along with the nothing text. This is also IP68 rated, so you can take it for a swim without any problems. The strap you get in the box is silicon and it has this CMF by nothing logo here. And the buckle in this is easy to use. You can also change the straps pretty easy with a quick release pin here and attaching it is also fairly easy. Now this watch is pretty comfortable where it weighs in at 47 grams with the strap and this is available in a single dial, single size, which might be a little too big for some people. I mean, our whole office tried it out and this is how it looks on different sort of hands. However, this big size means you get a display that's lovely to use. It's a 1.96 inch AMOLED display with a nice sharp resolution, 58 hertz refresh rate and 600 plus nits of brightness, which is very good for a budget smartwatch. Honestly, I have no complaints with the display. It's smooth and responsive to use, it's sharp. Again, important to note in a watch under 5K and it's easily visible in direct sunlight. It also has AOD, which looks nice. There's a race to wake, which works well. Now it does not have auto brightness, but there are five brightness levels and you can change it quickly from the quick settings. Look, the screen here is good, but you'll find a ton of smartwatches under 5000 in India with a similar AMOLED screen. See, the pain point in budget smartwatches is the software experience and that's where this comes in. See, the UI on the Watch Pro is nothing out of the world, but it looks clean and it's super smooth to use, which is what you want on a smartwatch. So this is the home screen and I can press hold and change watch faces, the usual gesture. And I like that there are a lot of watch faces with the whole nothing like minimal design with gray, red and black. Yeah, these are cool and there's obviously a lot more in the app along with some non-nothing watch faces if you want that. Anyway, coming back to the watch, I can swipe down to access the quick settings and this includes all of the handy options right here. I can swipe up to access the notifications, although notifications aren't really actionable. I can swipe right or left to access the widgets or tiles. There's one for activity, heart rate, weather, which has a very nothing feel to it. There's sleep, there's a tile for phone, which has recent contacts. And I like that you get a full-fledged dialer right here to make a call. Now, as for the calling experience, you can take calls on the watch easily. And if you're wondering about the call quality, I was actually impressed with it. I mean, the speakers here are loud enough and the mic quality on the other side was good too. So yeah, this is pretty good for calling. Now the Watch Pro only has one button which brings you the app list and this has all the useful apps. There's exercise which has all the popular exercise modes as you can see and these are not all. The app has almost every exercise mode you can think of and you can add the ones you like to show up on the watch. There's also exercise records which show you the details from your workouts. There's the heart rate app, there's the blood oxygen app, activity which shows you the steps, distance and more, sleep details. There's the stress app that lets you measure the stress. There's music that lets you control the music on your phone, camera remote so you can use your smartwatch to take a photo, voice assistant activates the Google Assistant from your phone, and there's flashlight, and there's also find my phone. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so yeah, hopefully nothing makes this better. The settings app has all the options too. You can change the app view from this to this, you can customize the AOD watch face, which is very cool. You can even customize the haptics on the watch. See, the UI here does not bring any out of the world, never before seen features, but where it stands out is in how smooth this is. I mean, just look at this, scrolling looks great. The UI is on minimal all around, no weird colors and icons, and there's no lag whatsoever. And that is a big deal when it comes to a budget smartwatch. Now it's not all good. There are a few things that could have been better. For example, these tiles show you the details, but you can't tap on them to open the app or scroll to see more details. You'll have to open specific apps for that. These tiles on the watch also aren't customizable and I would have liked the notifications to be actionable too. Now I know notifications not being actionable is a problem with most budget smartwatches, but if nothing could have fixed this, it would have been awesome. Other than that, I also found the GPS to be a bit spotty. I mean, there were times when it took a bit too much time to locate me. Also, when you start a workout from the app, there's no indication on the watch about it. Anyway, as for how the fitness tracking works, the Watch Pro has all of these sensors and tracking in our tests was fairly accurate. So we did a small treadmill run with the Nothing Watch Pro and the Apple Watch side by side on my hands. And the details on both of these watches were very similar, be it when it comes to distance, the average heart rate, and even the pace. We also checked the blood oxygen levels with both the watches and it was similar. 
Anyway, coming to the app, the Watch Pro works via the new CMF Watch app, which is available for both Android and iOS. And the watch has Bluetooth 5.3, so the range is good. And I did not come across any connectivity issues. Apart from that, I like that the app looks clean and you can see better details of your workout, see more stat when it comes to your heart rate or stress or blood oxygen. This even shows you way more detail of your sleep compared to what you see on the watch. You can also start a workout from the app itself. And the third tab shows you the watch settings. And I like that you can turn on things like stand-up reminders, drink water reminders, and you can also update your watch from right here and even find your watch which plays a sound on your smartwatch like this. You can also turn on or turn off continuous monitoring to, you know, save battery life. Anyway, like most non Wear OS smartwatches, this too has good battery life. This has a 340 mAh battery that's rated to last for 13 days, but that's probably on moderate usage. And in our heavy usage pattern with 24 7 health monitoring turned on, calls, exercises, the watch lasted for five days, so it should last for around 10 days for most people. As for charging, this charge is magnetically like this. Look, all in all, it's clear that Nothing Now wants to use its well-known brand name to sell more products, generate more revenue, because let's face it, even though this is called the CMA by Nothing Watch Pro, people are gonna call this the Nothing Watch. Same with the Buds Pro. I mean, if you look at the number of reviews of the Nothing Phone 2 on Flipkart, they aren't as high as they were for the Nothing Phone 1. And that's because the Phone 2, or even Ear 2 for that matter, are in the premium price segment. And that's where these new budget offerings come in. As for how good this new Nothing Watch Pro is, well, this has all the features and specs you see in almost every other smartwatch in this price range. But one area where it does kinda seem to have an edge is the user experience. The fast and smooth UI makes a difference in this price range. So for what is Nothing's first budget product, I'd say it's a satisfactory start. Anyway, I want to know from you guys, what do you guys think of the new Nothing Watch Pro at 4,500 rupees? Comment down below and thanks for watching.